I came from a public high school background, and so I don't think I fully appreciated what Jesuit education meant for quite a while. And if, in some ways, it's an ongoing appreciation. And what are the objects of belief? What are the limits of those? Those images spoke for themselves rather than you putting it in your story, which I think, like, what well, you're kind of trying to say, like, how shortening up. It's story, important like, to me when I talk you know. with prospective students that in some ways I communicate what Jesuit education at Gonzaga is about because I believe that that is distinctive. When I first came to Gonzaga, I didn't really like think about that aspect. I was really just intrigued by the smaller classes. Coming in as an engineer, I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to analyze the world analytically, and it was really set to do that. Then, once taking a couple philosophy classes, I realized this there's more to life than just seeing the problem, but there's another way to think about it. Now I can look at it from multiple perspectives. And I think that really speaks to the Jesuit teaching, is being able to look at things not from one perspective, but from multiple. There are so many great schools that students have an option to go to, but the distinction at Gonzaga is how we infuse Jesuit education into every single day experience, academic and student life. There's four things that I want students and their families to take away. The distinction of Jesuit education at Gonzaga. And the first most important thing to me that students understand about Gonzaga is that whatever discipline that student chooses to pursue, they will be superbly trained. And with the skills uh, of eloquence, to be able to speak well, to be able to write well, and, and to be able to critically think. The educational environment really is, what do you really want? What do you really desire? And go after it, and we'll help you do that. The second thing is that we want our students to be intentional people. And that comes right from the very roots of St. Ignatius when he was founding Jesuit education. And there's a beautiful statue in front of College Hall where St. Ignatius is looking down into a reflecting pool, but you can also see that he's moving because the robes are moving in the statue. And what that's depicting is both reflection and action. And we want our students to really be able to do both. The third thing that's important to communicate is leadership development. And we believe that every single person has the ability to be a leader. They learn how to think. They learn how to interpret. They learn how to write. And then they learn their specialty of what they're doing, their profession. So their generators are out. And so those added together put them at a plane where leadership becomes natural for them. And then also, during the event, we're accepting donations too. And then the last part in communicating what we're trying to do at Gonzaga is to explain the phrase that Jesuit institutions everywhere use, and that is men and women, for and with others. We're all about um, a faith that does justice, a justice that's animated by one's faith. Um, we see this as two sides of the same coin. It's not just education for education's sake, that your education at a Jesuit institution should mean something. What Gonzaga and what a Jesuit education provides is an opportunity for a student to get very clear about their sense of identity, who they are, and, and what they value, and um, what they're called to do, they're having the courage to do that. When we're men and women for others, we're talking about using our gifts to make our community better. Whatever those gifts are, that we're contributing that to the community. And then when we're with others, when we're men and women with others, we're compassionate people. I think that is probably the most important thing as it wraps up the four, academic excellence, being intentional people, being leaders, understanding leadership, and then being men and women for and with others. And those are the distinctions that when someone leaves campus, I hope they're carrying with them about Gonzaga.